Hello everyone, Cradax here. Welcome to the first episode of our Angel Bob's Omni playthrough. So, maybe you've already watched the prequel video on the mod settings, but I'm going to jump straight in. And if you are curious about the settings, the mod settings or the map settings, uh, feel free to jump into that other video. I'll link it somewhere on the screen um, through YouTube and you can go see what all the settings are. I'll just click through these real quick and I'm just going to jump straight in because I don't want to spend the first 10 minutes of the video going over settings. But Angel Bob's is a pretty common Factorio mod pack. It's pretty well known for being kind of, a, I don't know, just the gold standard, so to speak, of Factorio mod packs. Um, it's definitely one of the one of the all time classics. And I, I love me some Angel Bob's. So we are going to be playing through Angel Bob's, but we have added in Omni. Now, Omni is a suite of mods that you can kind of pick and choose, but I have chosen to use Omni Matter, which is the base mod, which changes everything into Omnite, which is this purple orb. And then there's Omni Compression, which allows for compressed buildings that operate like four buildings of the normal variety in one. And then you can also compress items and basically craft stacks rather than individual items. And I'm excited to use that in the late game because we can much more easily make a mega base. Um, and the UPS considerations won't be as bad because we can have fewer buildings. And then there's Omni Wood, Omni Energy, and uh, one more that I think I'm forgetting. Oh, Omni Water, which allows you to do a lot of things with liquids. So Omni significantly changes the playthrough. And if we kind of even just take a glance at the tech tree, you'll see a lot of these early techs, like Omnic Water Extraction. Like, what is that? And so there's a lot of technologies revolving around um, kind of getting Omni to do what you want. There are a couple places where I think it makes the game a little easier, but by and large, it does make the game more difficult. And I think there is the nice simplicity of only having to mine Omnite. So you're not going to have to set up a million mining outposts, but it's definitely not quite as easy as it might look at first glance. So let's go ahead and get started with mining some stuff. And I've gotten so used to faster walking speed that this all feels very slow to me. In my Pyanodons playthrough, I was using the uh, Time Tools mod to speed everything up to twice the speed. And so I kind of feel a bit sluggish here at the beginning. The good news is we'll be able to get all sorts of exoskeletons and, you know, researches to improve walking speed and stuff eventually. So there's only two things. There's wood and there's Omnite. And the wood is actually a different kind of wood called Omni-fused wood. And we'll figure out what that does here in a minute. So I'm going to get a little bit of that and then we're going to hopefully jump into mining some Omnite. So... Let's see, I guess kind of while we start some of these basics, burner mining drill, I can tell you a little bit about kind of my goals in this playthrough. My goal is to get a mega base, but using the Omni compression buildings. Um, I'm pretty sure we can get there in a reasonable number of episodes. I'm not 100% sure about that, but I also have biters turned on. And so, we are going to have to defend ourselves from biters. And I did make the settings on the easy side for sure, so I don't run into the problem I had with space exploration where by the fourth or fifth episode, I was like, I just have to turn off biters. I like can't even get enough iron <laughs> to fight these guys off. So hopefully we can get things going a little bit better in this mod pack um, so that the biters won't completely destroy us. So first thing to note in Omni Matter, like I already mentioned, there's only one ore and it's Omnite. There's no iron, copper, there's no bobmonium or sapphirite or steertite. All of those things come from Omnite. So because of angels plus bobs plus Omnite, the amount of steps we have to take to get iron ore is quite incredible because Omnite first has to become one of the bobs ores Right, and then the Bob's ores have to become iron ore, and so it's like a two-step process to get to ore. 
And because there's no coal, omnite itself can be used as a fuel. So you can see there's a lot of different fuels we can use, but omnite's one of them. And the rest of the fuels in the game, like wood and coal, you can still get coal, of course, but you can't just naturally burn coal in these buildings. You have to omnify it. And so you have to kind of add, I forget exactly how the recipe works, but you, you can't just burn coal straight, even once you have coal. So just like normal, we need to set up burner mining drills here. Um, but let's dive in. Oh, what is all that? Was that the Bob? Oh yeah, the alien artifacts. So with Bobs, you have to kill aliens to get these alien artifacts. Uh, so we need to figure out how to start getting our first iron plates. That's number one. So I'm probably going to need this Omni Tractor, which is a burner building. And I can turn six Omnite into Sapphirite ore or Steertite ore and crushed stone. I can also make Omnic water and Omnic waste out of it. Or I can make water and Omnic waste out of Omnic water. Okay. So, and then I can also make regular wood out of Omni fused wood, which will be important later. So I'm going to start with this guy. And we're just going to throw some Omnite in. And I'm also going to see what this guy can do. The Omni Flog. That can turn wood and Omnic Waste into more Omni Fused Wood. So that pretty early on can get you a loop to make infinite wood. Which will obviously be important. Because lots of things will need wood at some point. So this is a slow process as many mod packs are in the beginning. Also you'll notice I don't have the Afraid of the Dark mod anymore. I actually do want to... And maybe because I'm streaming, that's a bad idea, or YouTubing. Uh, but you can let me know if the, the darkness bothers you. I will put lamps everywhere um, as soon as I can. So we've got these logistics limits that I want to take off. And then even distribution. I actually like it to balance out inventories. I do want fuel to be limited at a full stack. And I think those are all the settings I need. Distribution delay. I don't mind being a little more. And shift C, I should probably use more often. Um, that it kind of automatically puts stuff in inventories. So I believe I can just, uh, no, I need to crush it. That's right. It's been a while since I played uh, Angels and Bobs. So a lot of recipes i'm gonna have to learn my way around all these again but resource refining is where we crush the different kinds of ores so we will crush our steerotite and then that can be put into this little what's it called a furnace yes words are hard uh stone furnace to make some iron plates so that's the way we get iron and actually took out a little bit too much Omnite. So to build more burner mining drills, I need a lot of... Uh, well, four iron plates, one Omni Tor, and four Omnite bricks. So Omnite bricks are made by... Looks like there's two different ways to make them. Stone and Omnite made in an Omni Furnace, which I don't have yet. So I'll have to do that recipe, which is Bricks and Omnite. And then an Omni Tor is an Omnisium Plate and an Omnisium Gear Wheel. And an Omnisium Gear Wheel comes from an Omnisium Plate. So, essentially two Omnisium Plates. And Omnisium Plates come from a bunch of crushed Omnite. So, to get crushed Omnite, we're going to need a crusher. Just kidding, that doesn't work yet. I'll have to hand crush it. So we should probably be hand mining some Omnite here. Did I really not get any more iron plates? They didn't... yeah. Pretty, pretty strapped for resources here at the beginning, that's for sure.
Okay, so I can hand crush some Omni. We need 20 to make a plate. So I'll need 40 to get two plates. Okay, and then we have to turn that into two Omnisium plates, which we will do. I guess we can grab... I don't know which one is better for fuel. Probably the trees, because I get four at a time. And this guy gave me a little bit more steer tight. I'm going to move this over. I, there's the picker mod in action. If you mouse over something with a blueprint, it auto places. So that's very nice. Oh, I need to turn on alt mode. There we go. And this is where I can use shift C and it'll automatically um, put. I thought it would. Ooh, that's weird. It's putting what I have in my inventory back into here. Why would it do that? I don't know. But we need to smelt the few more iron there. And I'm still missing four Omnite bricks. So the Omnite bricks come from 10 Omnite and stone bricks. Ah, and stone, right, comes from crushed stone, which we will have plenty of. So I can make myself another furnace here. And then we'll put in stone, make ourselves some stone bricks. Perfect. And then that should allow us to get some Omnite bricks. If I have enough Omnite, which I do not. So here we are, hand mining, hand crafting. Hope you guys are having a great day. <laughs> it's usually a pretty slow start in these more complicated mod packs, and Omni is no exception. Okay, so we can get one more brick, and that should finally let me get one more burner mining drill. There's also steam-powered mining drills, which I'm not entirely certain how good they are or if I'm ever going to use them, but... I guess it's possible. Okay. So we'll get some more burner guys going. We've just increased our mining speed by quite a bit. So here's the max rate calculator if you haven't seen that before. Now we're up to 0.75 per second. And we're probably going to need like 200 more Omnite just to build one more mining drill there, so we'll get going on that. What I love about this beginning stage of the game is just the exponential growth that you accomplish. It feels so good. I remember playing the Factorio demo way back in the day, and it was just so cool to get to be like, oh, now I have twice as many miners, which will get me what I need twice as fast, and then you know, you just kind of go down the chain. So I actually don't need more iron right now. So I'm going to take all of this. I don't need the Omniflog either. What I do need is some more stone bricks. So we will craft the stone. If I can remember. Okay, so that's actually from Omni Matter. Allows you to... Ooh, that's kind of weird. It, it will automatically craft the Omnite hand crushing recipe to give you the crushed stone that you need to make stone. So got to be careful of that. But I do need 40 anyway. And then that's the rest of the stone we can get. So we'll make some more stone bricks. And then in here we need to make two Omnisium plates. And uh, I guess I'll mine a few while I'm waiting. Just 
waiting for the biters to start attacking me. It's gonna be way before I'm ready, that's for sure. Okay, so four bricks. And is that good enough? No, I need the two plates, right. So once that finishes, we'll have our fourth burner mining drill. Let's take a look at the map. We've got 2.2 million, 1.4 million, so that's like 3.6 million plus this. So we're a little over 4 million Omnite in this central area. That sounds like a ton, but as you can tell, even just by the amount of Omnite we need to get some simple burner mining drills, you do need quite a bit of Omnite. Though it does get more efficient, so that's good. Okay, rotate that. Now we've got our nice little circle of Omnite mining. We're finally up to one per second. And things should get a little faster from here. Okay, so what I want to do is crush 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So we'll get Omnisium going again. And then the crushed stone I can make into regular stone to make some more bricks. And then in these two guys, we will get some more sapphire. Yeah, something's very wrong with the inventory cleanup because it's putting Putting my items back in the output. Or at least that's my perception of what it's doing. I don't totally understand what's happening. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments what's going on there. Maybe it's because I have distribute items above the minimum request. Oh, drop items to machine outputs. There it is. We want that to be turned off. That's what it is. So that way, it'll only put items into outputs, at least for now. Maybe there's a, there's probably a good reason that that is a thing. I just don't want it to do that right now. Um, And then I want to make another stone furnace. This guy, I guess I'll put him over here, is going to be for iron plates. Stone, where are you? Here. Okay. That should start to get there. Can we make another one? No. What am I short on? Omnite, I guess? Yeah. You need 40 Omnite for the bricks, 40 for the Omnisium plates, and then 6 per ore. And each orb is, is it two thirds? Can't remember the ratio. I think it's two thirds. Yeah. All right. Now the real question is, is there a way to make odd numbers of these work? I don't think there is, but I can just take what I get from one and put it in the one that's not receiving anything. But I don't I don't think there's a way to make that work. Maybe there is. I'm just trying to think because that one can go in, but then how does this Yeah, I don't I don't see how that works. Okay. So first order of business is 40 crushed to get myself two more plates. It's a 
a very riveting first episode. Hopefully you guys are uh, into this sort of thing. <laughs> Definitely not fast progress, but I kind of I kind of like that about the beginning. Okay, so craft forty crushed omnite. Put that in here. And then we're going to need 40 more Omnite for the bricks. And I already have four iron plates. And I can get a little bit more. Oops, I just overcrafted crushed Omnite. That's fine. Okay. So we just need a few more, and that should do it. Once I have this other Omnisium plate, then we can make yet another burner mining drill. Woohoo! There we go. So now I've got six, so that's 1.5 per second. We're starting to speed up. So let's see, we need 80, and then we need four iron plates, which ends up being six staff right ore, which is 36, so 116 omnite, I believe is the amount per burner mining drill. That's a pretty significant number. That is for sure. But it'll start coming in faster. I'm going to chop a little bit more wood just because I can. So one of the fun things about Omni is just the there's so many different like cycles of researches. So if we look down a little bit here, let's see if I can find it. Yeah, these researches. So at the beginning, the only way to get coal is to sort it kind of on accident. So you get like coal and rubyite and bobonium. And then as you go farther down the tech tree, you can get a higher ratio of coal compared to the other ores. And then eventually you can just get only coal, which is obviously what you want, because then you don't have to get stuff that you're not looking for. But obviously that takes more advanced technology. So it's kind of a fun system because you, you start out having to deal with lots of byproducts, which I enjoy that quite a bit. All right, we've almost got another one already. That was fast. Shift C, okay, now it seems to be working. Okay, another burner mining drill. We'll uh, throw him in here, I guess. Give him a little bit of extra power. And then we do it again. And then we do it again, and then again, and then again. But it should be getting faster and faster each time. And what does my pollution look like, I wonder? Uh, pollution. No? We have started polluting the world, that's for sure. There's nothing I can do about it at the moment. Oops, I didn't mean to take yours. You need some. Okay, so crushed, crushed. 40. Now is crushed Omnite better for fuel? That's a good question. So one Omnite is 1.6 megajoules. One crushed Omnite is 0.68, but I get, oh yeah, that's just worse, because I only get one crushed Omnite per Omnite, so it's definitely worse. And I can make three more, so I need more stone, that's what I need. And I actually do need a little bit more iron here. I only have two iron. Okay. 
Keep hitting Shift C. Get rid of all the things. Okay. Uh, we're missing. There we go. Perfect. All right, now we're up to eight. So now my omnite rate is two. I guess that makes sense. If four was making one, then eight would make two. Math. That's how it works. Okay, so we need to crush quite a bit. Throw that in here. Take our stone, make four, and then put the rest in here. Let's make iron. Alright, I think we're starting to get closer and closer to that breaking point where I can just constantly make all the stuff that I need to make. And we will want burner insert. Can I already do burner inserters, actually? That would be very nice. Uh, they're pretty expensive, so I'll probably wait a little bit longer on those, but I, I, can, I can make them. Drop a bit more Omnite in there. And we'll take these two plates, and then that should be enough for another one. With the Omnisium. There we go. And then again, we need 40 crushed. Put that in. How did I end up with a regular wood? Have I always had that? I've probably always had that. Uh, make as much stone as I can. Make some bricks out of it. Make a bunch more iron if I can. Alright, we're going places. I do need four more bricks, though. There's three. And there's four. And voila, two more. That was a lot faster this time. Beautiful. Okay. Uh, so what are we what are we even doing with all this? I've kind of just been chasing my own tail here. I don't even know where I'm going. Uh, we probably want science, which is copper plates and iron gear wheels. So that's the that's the vanilla recipe. Okay. And then iron gear wheels. I assume have the same. Recipe as always. Yeah, two iron plates. So we really are kind of doing the right thing. We just need to get as much Omnite as we can. Turn it into Omnisium plates. Get lots more Omnite. Rinse and repeat. but at least it's getting faster now. Faster, faster, faster. Uh, so we want to put this into making bricks. And then this guy, this guy, shift C. He's run out of fuel. Get some more. Uh, I need a bunch of stone. I do have 28 bricks already, so I should probably stop worrying so much about stone. Uh, need a bunch more iron. And then I do need 40 more for crushing. 
There we go. Amnesium plates. Got some more iron plates. Alright, we're cooking. Cooking with gas. Ooh, I want to make two at a time. That's going to feel really good. Once that finishes. Oh, never mind. I still need a whole nother Omnisium plate. Oh my goodness. So expensive. But then once I have some more Omnite, then I can have multiple furnaces going at once. And I can actually build belts. Although I don't have belts yet, so I can't, can't do belts quite at the moment. But soon. Are you done yet? Oh yeah, it's done. Okay, there we go. Two more. Two more burner mining drills. Thing of beauty. I maybe will still need to turn the biters down even more. Just realizing how slow this start is. It is something, I'll tell you that. Okay. Uh, so I do think I want to make some burner inserters just to get this automated so we'll get some more omnisium going here put all that in that's the wrong thing probably should be multiple of four otherwise i'm going to start confusing myself and then we'll get some more iron Just put all that in. Stone bricks, I'm probably good for now. All right, so a burner inserter needs also a steam powered inserter. That's hilarious. Um, an Omnitor, a gear wheel, and a plate. So pretty close to being the same as a burner. Oh, I guess it doesn't need the bricks. So it's a little cheaper. Okay, so I will start with what? Putting into what? Probably this. That way. And then... This configuration window I want to move. That's in... Is it top where I normally like that? Anyway, you can see this uh, inserter throughput mod is telling me point, 0 0.6 per second is how fast that inserter moves things. So that's really handy. Um, might need to change that Bob's mod setting. I can't remember where I like to have that, but it feels off for some reason. All right, we'll do some more Omnisium here. And then we will get some more iron. Oh, right, that's automatically inserting. Although we're gonna have a little bit of an issue because of, uh, can I make a chest? I can't, okay, I just need some wood. Which is not as easy as it sounds. How do I make wood again? Omni-fused wood in a burner omni-tractor. Okay, so I have to change the recipe in this guy for a second. And grab some wood. I just need to make a couple wooden chests. Because the problem is that crushed stone is going to get in the way. Because there's two outputs. So we'll put that in there real quick. There we go. You can switch back to doing what you were doing. I've got some more Omnisium plates. And ooh, I did not mean to put all that in there. I wanted to put that in there. And some more iron. 
So we can get another burner inserter. And so this one needs to insert diagonally. Or I guess at a 90 degree angle. Let's locate where those chests are. Logistics, there we go. Angels Logistics. So we'll put the stuff into a chest and then load into there. And that should be all I need for that. Maybe some more crushed Omnite. This is this is good. We're making some progress here. The rate there of 1.2 is actually exactly enough to keep up with the output of this guy. Which is kind of funny. Unfortunately, when I control click on my inventory, it also wants to load the fuel in there, which is more fuel than I need. But that's okay. Uh, so I'll take that. And that also has extra output, so we will need to insert like that. Two more burner inserters. Don't have enough iron. Which means I don't have enough of this. So then he'll insert from there. Well, I mean, we're only going to be crushing that 0.2 per second, which means this rate is divided by 10. So we're only going to be outputting 0.2 and 0.1 per second. So this inserter will be able to handle it. And we can craft another one. There we go. I was waiting for my nanobots to build it, and then I remembered I don't have nanobots yet. That is a luxury that I am not rich enough to afford. But the good news is now we can just put Omnite in, and we get iron plates out. And the stone will build up over time, but that'll take a while. So that's great. I'm just going to give it a whole bunch of Omnite. And then can I make a few more? I probably can once I have some bricks. I forgot about Omnite bricks. Those are also expensive in terms of Omnite. Soon everything will be automated and it will feel so good. Okay, three more bricks. I still need two more bricks and then I can get two more drills. There we go. This guy's still running. That's good news. The iron plates are slowly flowing in, and I feel like we've actually we've done some good automation so far. Three Omnite per second. Pollution is already becoming a little bit more widespread than I'd like it to be, given that we haven't really done anything yet. Um, but that's just the name of the game, I guess. And now we can place two more. Beautiful. Okay, so I do need some more crushed Omnite. Make sure we keep our Omnisium plates flowing. And we're just about to run out of Omnite for the iron, so we'll load him back up. We've got plenty of stone bricks. And we need to fuel up all the things. Make sure my burners are fueled up. I need a few more all night for this guy. He doesn't even have any. He's got a few too many. I'd rather not use the wood, because at this point, Omnite's way cheaper. 
Uh, we'll make sure there's like a decent amount. There we go. Uh, how are we looking? We are looking decent. What do I need for another burner mining drill? Probably just more Omnite? Yeah. It's bricks. There we go. Sweet. Okay, I'm going to start a second row since at this point we're kind of getting a little far away. So now we'll make uh, another section. And load up our iron maker. We do have 14 iron plates. That's a decent number. And I don't think, yeah, I can't automate crushing of Omnite. So there's really not much more I can automate at this point. It's probably time to start thinking about another of these burner Omni tractors. So that I can automate copper without having to switch recipes back and forth. But first, I need to get a bunch more Omnesium. So we'll crush everything we can. There we go. Burner Omni Tractor. Number two coming right up. Look at that. Sweet. Okay. So in our second burner omni tractor, we will be getting steerotite. What are the odds I can build a burner or crusher? Hmm, I can. It's actually the exact same as a burner drill in terms of price. There we go. And what I'm actually going to do is copy this whole setup. Now is the time to try the controls. I haven't, ever since they added it, I, I don't even know what the control is. Uh, rotate, flip blueprint, F and G. Okay, let's try it. I'm going to copy this, and I want to hit G. See, this is this is why I'm not a fan. Why can it not be flipped? Because it has liquid inputs. It's going to complain about that. But Blueprint Flip and Turn does not complain about that. And I can still do it. So this is why you use the Blueprint blueprint Flip and Turn mod. That's hard to say. Um, people were telling me that the mod was useless now. But it's not, because it doesn't have the same silly restrictions that Vanilla Factoria does. Now I say silly restrictions. Obviously the restrictions are there for a reason. Because um, things break otherwise, but I'd rather have the ability to break things when I know I'm breaking them than to just not be allowed to in the first place. And then we're going to have to craft all sorts of stuff over there to get all this going. So probably the first order of business is a couple more. Oh, whatever those are called. The burners. Uh, for which I need some more crushed all night. I don't know how we ended up with three. That's a very awkward number. Kind of want to throw it in the trash. I'll just use that as fuel. So I need four burner inserters, which is a lot of Omnesium plates. So that's probably what I'll do with all of my Omnesium currently. Just control. Oh, you can't control click. That's weird. Oh, we're out of fuel. Don't run out of fuel, kids. It's bad. 
bad thing. You know when your when your purple plate maker decides to poop out on you. Okay, I'll need a little bit more iron. Not a lot though. And this can go in here. So this is where even distribution is nice, is I can just control click and drag, and then it balances it out into the fuel. Oh my gosh, that's not what I wanted. I was just sitting here trying to say how great you were, Mr. Even Distribution, and then you went and disappointed me. Well, the problem is you're normally not smelting your fuel, so that it, I guess it doesn't quite know how to handle that properly. And I'm going to make two more drills. Can never have enough on night. So I wonder with even distribution... Um, there it is. We want to turn off replace inferior fuel and ammo. I think that will prevent it from switching out the fuel that's in there. Let's see. If I do that... Yeah, that's better. For some reason it thinks that Omnite is an inferior fuel to crushed Omnite, but that's, that's very much incorrect. Omnite is much better. There we go, so I can just keep dragging that over and it'll automatically balance those out. So that'll get me all the omnesium plates I need. And then here, this will get me all of the iron plates I need. Or at least some of the iron plates I need. I, don't, I think the word all is a little bit ambitious these days. But we do have the four burner inserters that I need. So now we can get copper going. Look at that. And then this needs to switch to stereotype or crushing. Wow. Look at how far we've come from hitting purple rocks in the ground to having iron and copper automated. And this episode is starting to get fairly long in the tooth, so we'll probably call it quits soon. And I might I might let things run for a, a couple minutes in between episodes, just so that you don't have to sit and watch this for another hour in the next one. But yeah, we can get some copper started here. Keep the iron going. And then we're going to need some more Omnesium. And then I'll probably still need like another 50 burner mining drills, but we're getting there. I want to make my first couple research packs though. And then where do I make the lab? Same place as usual. Omnitor Lab. So it's a burner lab. 10 copper, 10 Omnitors, and 5 bricks. That is pretty expensive. This poor burner drill. It can technically keep up, but it's taking forever to catch up, so I'm just going to help it out. And I guess I can just take all the crushed stone from these guys and put it in my own chest somewhere. And then give you some fuel. Fuel. Make some more crushed omnite. need lots of omnesium. Oh man, what are the odds that all four of these ran out at the same time? 
I guess they burn through a single Omnite pretty quick. But hey, we got our first copper plates. Nice. Feels good. So now I can make an Omni Furnace. Ooh. And an Omni Furnace will let me make better or cheaper Omnite bricks by just combining a single Omnite with a stone. Whereas previously, an Omnite brick. And Omnite and two stone. So I actually might, might build that. Where was it though? I lost it. Oh, it was in the Omni Matter, of course. I don't know why I'm looking anywhere else. Omni Furnace. Now I'm confused. Isn't an Omni Furnace just a normal furnace? Or do I pick the recipe? I guess we'll find out. No, I do pick the recipe. Okay. So I can make all the normal furnace things. The crafting speed is one, so it's the same as a stone furnace. The fuel consumption is half. Instead of 90 kilowatts, it's 45, so that's nice. And then I can just make bricks in here. So that's very nice. Much cheaper way to get all my bricks. Sweet. Okay. Well, I will finish out with making some science packs. Once we have our iron. I think that's the current. Hold up. We'll let that run for a minute. I can currently build seven science packs. And then the... Where's it going to be? The lab. It's going to be here. I need 20 Omnisium plates. That is a bit intense. So we'll have to hand crush a lot more. Okay, and we've got a fuel issue in this building, so I'll do that. And the seven out of ten copper. Okay, so we just need twenty. So we need ten more omnisium plates. Is the current hold up? I'm going to move this, make a couple more furnaces. I would make Omni furnaces, but they're kind of expensive at the moment. And then hopefully that will go in as fuel. Yes, and then I can put this in as the actual thing to make. Okay, now we're at 12. Getting there. Take my iron and copper and make three more automation science packs. And I think we'll finish out the episode with uh, our first research. I should probably start making Omni tours since I'm going to need a bunch of them. And it's going to be nice when we can just automate all of this. Okay, two more. There we go. That should allow me to build an Omnitor lab. Huzzah. And then I will just plunk that down over here. Put some fuel in it. And ten research packs. Now the first thing I want to research is going to be Omnitor Assembling Machine. Why not? And the second thing I will research is definitely going to be belts. Although, first we have to pass through Burner Assembling Machine and Steam Powered Assembling Machine. What's the difference between this 
Oh, the crafting speed is 0 0.1. <laughs> that is hilariously slow. 0 0.1 crafting speed. But we're getting there. We're already 10% of the way done with that research, and we just clicked on it. Okay. It's probably time to start getting some more burner mining drills, I think. But we are, we're doing it, people. We're getting simple automation researched. Yeah, definitely need some more burner mining drills. Okay, so two more we can add on to this little section. Uh, there we go. Going in a circle. 70% of the way researched. And then once that's done... Uh, what does that require to build? Two iron plates, a burner inserter, and an omni flog. Or an omni tour. Yeah, look at all those easy Omni bricks. They're so cheap now. And there we go. Omni... Omnitor assembling machine. So now we can automate things. Sweet! Okay. Well, we will start out the next episode beginning some real automation. So, um, hope you guys are as excited as I am to dive into the world of Angel Bob's Omni. I'm very much looking forward to it. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you all next time.